I'll show you northern fury. So I've been wandering the valley for I don't know how long now, and no other enemies have spawned. The quest has not moved forward. I tried talking to Willar, nothing, no one has any dialogue right now. I don't know where Trevelyan went, he just up and disappeared, I think. So I am just trying to find... I'm trying to find out what comes next. I think there's supposed to be more wave spawning in and for whatever reason it's just not queuing up properly. Well, that's a new glitch. I have never seen that before. Oh, still getting attacked. Right, sorry. Forgot, kind of fighting a war. Oh, um, hi, Odrin. All right, you do you. All right, I reloaded my save just because I couldn't get the enemies to spawn at all, and I ran into the same issue. Exactly after three waves of enemies, there is just nothing. I can't speak to anyone. I looked on the mod page. I didn't see anything listed in the bugs about this quest, so I am just running around, hoping that it'll spawn enemies, but I... I don't know. Uh, one thing I want to say is, when I play through mods for videos, I try to think about the mod and how much I'm enjoying it in regards to would I enjoy this or would I still even be bothering with this if I wasn't recording and trying to finish the mod for video purposes. And right now, with some of the bugs that I'm encountering, I don't know if I, in my free time, would enjoy this enough to keep going. Some people probably don't run into any of these bugs, other people probably run into even more than this, but personally, given how much I seem to be just kind of like fighting with the mod at times, uh, if I was doing this just in my free time, just for fun, I probably would have called it quits. I probably would have said like, oh, yeah, I'm good. Okay, I looked it up. Uh, it wasn't listed on the bug section of the mod page, I just had to scroll through all of the comments until I found this one. So to progress this, the problem is you're supposed to kill 39 Thalmor soldiers during the three waves of Thalmor attackers. And you're supposed to kill exactly 39. There are 38 Thalmor that spawn in the waves. The 39th is the one Thalmor that we killed all the way back in part one of this series. So, we just have to do some console commands. Which, fortunately, these are listed in the one uh, comment that I found, so I am fortunate for that. Or maybe not. Wait, okay. I just typed that wrong. Forgot to type the set stage there we go there we go now we can talk to Willar and hopefully well I'm hoping that we don't get everyone killed during this because this is where your decisions matter this is where they come into effect I'm pretty sure and I'm hoping that you know, not everyone just suddenly dies, because that would be really, really upsetting to me. Damn it. They need help at the outpost. They wouldn't be sending up a smoke signal otherwise. Who's holding the signal tower right now? Gareth, Orvania, and a few guards. I'll go give them a hand, hold the line here. They can handle themselves. The majority of enemy forces are coming here. Um, I'll go give them a hand. If I don't give them a hand, maybe they'll die. Understood. Good luck out there. Did you hear something? Oh. Oh, more Thalmor is spawning, I think. Oh, and Odrin is still swimming. Alright, I got a glimpse of that real quick. Odrin is still glitched and just swimming through the air, so... He's gonna be real useful during this fight. Oh, good, he's fighting again. Okay, I guess once... 
he drew his weapons that fixed it. So that's good. Once again, I'm just... I'm just getting tired of how many enemies there are. Because it's just me against all these soldiers. It's like, wow, alright. Thanks. Alright. That's all the Thalmor for the next two seconds. Nope. Wait. Wait, where are they? Guys? Oh, what? Where did you- You're not supposed to be here! Why do the bandits keep spawning back in here? Oh my god. You got here just in time, Dragonborn. They'd nearly overrun the outpost. Uh, what's the situation looking like here? Well, now that the Dragonborn is here, we could probably hold out a little longer. Granted, that would mean you'd have to stay here instead of helping everyone else in the valley. I saw a group of Thalmor moving towards the village. Who's defending the village? Bianor, Skjall, and Lyria, along with some guards. Uh, my plan was to have strong points against the Thalmor. I'm staying with it, or... We need to help them follow me. Oh. The plan was to have strong points, but with how many soldiers there are, we need to reinforce our people. Yeah. Ugh. All right, follow me. All right, then. Come on, Gareth. I'm going to make the wrong decisions. I know it. I'm expecting it. People are going to die. There's no way we're surviving this. Or there's no way everyone's going to survive this. This is essentially the mods equivalent of the Mass Effect 2 suicide mission. I think that's what it was drawing inspiration from. <laughs> At least we got Odrin still helping out. He might be a drunk, but you know what? He is a lean, mean drunk. Thalmor killing machine. Oh, whoa, who just went flying? Oh, that was one of our guards. Yep, okay, there he is. Yeah, it's a good thing we came to help, otherwise they absolutely 100% would have died. I mean, look at this! Yeah. Sorry, Bianor. I'm sorry. I hope that didn't kill him. No, it didn't. Okay. I figured he was set to essential, I just wanted to make sure. Or, you know, he's set, essential. He's set to essential because we're here. He might have been killed off-screen had we not helped them. You're hardly getting past my I'll see you Are we clear? Oh, all right. You're uh floating. You mind coming down to Earth with us? Dragonborn, you're a sight for sore eyes. Glad I could help. I'd say the same. We need ah, oh, damn it, more of them. We don't need more of them. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god. Yeah, this is getting a little excessive. This is absolutely getting a little excessive now. There were less enemies in the second Great War mod. Literally in a war mod, not in a random assault on a random outpost in the middle of the Jural Mountains. think that's all of them? Biano, where are you going? Biano, get back here. I think that's all of them. Should be. What now? I say we get back into the walls. Uh, bah, don't be a milk drinker. Let's go on the offensive a little. Or agreed, let's get back to the Citadel. Um... I just... Uh, because of the way that this is written, I feel like it's the wrong choice. It's like, ah, don't be a milk drinker. Come on, we can do it. Or it's like, no, let's make the smarter decision. Lead the way. Oh, I didn't hit anyone. Or it just, I didn't even see my shout fly out. Yeah, this is... There's a little too much in terms of enemies. 
After 20 years, do you really think you'll be the one to take me down? Is the wizard down there? Yeah, he is. There you go. You did it. You killed him. Why are you all back here instead of on the main wall? Oh, we're under attack. Okay. Who's attacking us? Wait, what are you doing? Wait! Trevelyan, what are you doing? Is there someone out there? Like some good old mage fire. What the fuck is Trevelyan doing? And you're still floating. Okay, you're done floating for now. Is there an enemy somewhere? Or has Trevelyan just gone mad? Nope, he's done now. Alright. Uh, Willar. Let's try that conversation again. Why are you all the way back here instead of on the main wall? Oh no, is it not working? Oh, I can't even activate the conversation with him! Let's... see... if this fixes it. There were too many. We there figured we it'd go. be more efficient to get the bastards into a kill zone. Uh, good thing let's hold these positions or get back on the wall. Don't give them any ground. Um, no. Creating a kill zone, let's do that. You've got it. I don't know, he was a soldier. He was a ranger. I feel like he knows what he's doing. He probably has a good idea of how to best defend the place. Whereas me, I don't have any siege experience. Hell if I know. After 20 years, do you really think you'll be the one to take me down? It's okay. Trevelyan, get up. Born. I just... Dragonborn. I just felt a magical anomaly. It was a powerful one, too. What do you think it is? The Sigic monks created a way to teleport magically over great distances. The Dominion managed to create a primitive version of it. The issue is, it takes a lot of magicka to do and only works over short distances. Someone just teleported into the keep. I'm sure of it. We have to go. Now. Alright. Follow me. Right behind you. You know, I know that the Thalmor are just always trying to st trying to stop th uh, Talos worship. I almost mixed up Talos and Thalmor, you know. My bad. But I feel like there's no way that they would have sent, at this point, well over a hundred soldiers to take out a small group of outcasts who might be practicing Talos worship, when they didn't even have any real proof that we were. Unless they knew Trevelyan was, um, compromised, but... But still. Well, the legendary last Dragonborn, here in the flesh. It is a great honor. Oh, did Trevelyan not follow me, damn it? admire your achievements. Oh, he's not in here. Well, the legendary last Dragonborn. Mm. Here in the flesh. It is a great honor. I truly admire your achievements. Let me... I'll be right back. Can I initiate the conversation? Okay, I can. Let me just get Trevelyan. Let me make sure he comes in here. You gonna follow me inside? Come on. Up the stairs. Alright. Well, oh my god, he's following me! Wait! Trevelyan's still outside. Is a great honor. I truly admire your achievements. Okay, you have me at a disadvantage. I am Inquisitor Selator of the Old Merry Dominion. And I have come here to end the sheltering of Talos Washington's. Of course. Oh, there you are. Did you expect them to send some incompetent fool you'd never met before? No. They would send the best of their army. They would send someone who knows everything about you, traitor. But this... After I saved your life and elsewhere, you come here? 
attempting to indiscriminately kill people here? You come here to kill me? Kill you? You know better than to jump to conclusions, old friend. I'm simply here to deliver you a message. Everyone knows about your moral revelation. Since the badly burned Altmer was found laying on the road in Falkreath, gasping for air. She told us everything we needed to know about you. And seeing as you were actively telling us to avoid the arrows, we came to the arrows. He sounds strangely like PewDiePie. Is it just and me? What of Cassandra? Oh, of course, your beautiful, patient wife. I'm amazed by how long she's waited for your return. That is true love if I've ever seen it. Stop toying with me and get to the point, you bastard. As you wish. We've kept her in custody since you got the idea to send us false information. Well, you might not be here to kill me, but I'm gonna finish with those Khajiit started, and the rest of the Dominion is coming next. I have no intention to sheath my blade until Cassandra is free. Ooh, fiery. I always knew you were a passionate romantic at heart. Well, I suppose this means I'm about to go toe to toe with the alleged child of Oriel himself. That is what some say about you, you know? Yeah, it's a popular, uh, fan theory. Well, you'll be able to ask that of Ariel himself in a moment. Also, Trevelyan, where are you going? Come back here! Oh! Is he about to stab him in the back? I think so. Ha! A clever one! It's a shame I have to kill you both. You should just stab him in the back right now. Oh, you could've gotten him while he was monologuing! You should've just stabbed him. He was focused on me, you were right behind him. Sorry, Trevelyan, you got in the way. That's what you get for not assassinating him. Oh, and my sword went through. Celator and hit Trevelyan. Damn. We did it. Siege is over. Are you alright? Yes, thank you. But I have something important to do. I need to get back to the Somerset Isles. I need to find Cassandra. Even if it kills me. I know this is abrupt, but I can't ignore it for a single minute. It's my wife. Uh, best of luck, Agatash. Guide you, friend. I'll come with you, I'm itching to kill more Thalmor. No, I gotta stay here and protect my people. Same to you. Don't let Audrin send you on any more investigations. He was right both times. Maybe we'll meet again. Until then, goodbye, Dragonborn. Say what you want about Audrin. He was right. Both times. You and with Oriana. I'm just saying. Oh, Willar, is that you? Hey, Dragonborn. You busy? Oh. You don't have any quest. I feel like if there was ever a time for us to talk, it would be right now. Okay. Oh, everyone's coming downstairs because uh, the battle's over. If you mix honey Maybe I just need to wait a little bit and then they'll have something to say. Hey, Dragonborn, you busy? Oh, uh, yeah, let's give everyone a chance to just kind of go back to their normal locations and we'll see if anything changes. All right. So it turns out that is the end of the main quest line. However, I was able to find Marim finally. Here on top of the fortress. Beautiful up here, isn't it? You can see the heavens, the aurora, and the valley perfectly. Yeah, it's certainly romantic. I should put some greenery up here. Not a bad idea. But let's not worry about that now. Right now, let's just... Just... Make an advance on her. Oh boy. Just. You reach out and put your hands on Marim's waist, then pull her closer to you. You know what happens next. Gods above, 
That was... It was unforgettable. More than that. Just being around you, I get an adrenaline rush. It's the strangest feeling. I feel nervous, excited, happy. It's hard to describe. All I can say is, I like it. I want to be with you, whenever you'll have me. Well, I certainly couldn't imagine turning you away. Now that you've said that, I almost want to go again. Did we just do it on- Regardless, I'm sure we'll spend more time together, darling. This would be uncomfortable. There's no beds or anything. You know we got a unicorn. Mm, I guess you can only use that with, uh, with Willar, huh? Ugh. Thanks for watching Valley of Outcasts Drawl Mountain Citadel. I have a few things to say about the mod, and I want to try and say some of it in the most constructive way possible. Starting off, I think this was a fun mod, getting to settle your own little enclave filled with townsfolk, many of which have their own personal quests and told small, little stories. I absolutely see how the mod author was inspired by Mass Effect, and as a fan of the series, it was fun to draw some of those similarities myself. Voice acting in the mod is well done, as well as the unique armor sets and the way that the mod handled building up the Citadel and its surrounding village. However, I did find the mod to be plagued by a handful of issues, and some of them aren't game-breaking, while others definitely seem to be. But all of them stood out to me while playing. Some of the smaller, non-game-breaking bugs included the dark face bug, the moving mannequins, and the render distance inside the Citadel itself. And, of course, you guys know how I get about grammar mistakes in mods sometimes. Stuff like that is all relatively minor, but to me, it means that those are things that can be fixed somewhat easily as well through updates and patches. To me, the area was a little bit too large, and it meant a lot of running around and trying to track down different NPCs and potential quest givers. Since you didn't really have an overarching quest for the mod, there were times where I was just kind of running around talking to everyone I found, looking for what came next. A lot of places in the mod were really spread out, which just adds to the fact that you have to run back and forth again and again. And there were bugs with a handful of the quests as well, where it seemed to kind of freeze the quest and prevent you from moving forward. The problem I have with this is that this is a mod about player choice. When the choice that I want to make, which seems to me to be the best option, just freezes the mod's progress, it can feel a little frustrating. In the end, this was for the most part a more light-hearted series of quests, and sometimes that's what you need. There's more than enough quests about doom and gloom, sometimes you just want to help your Nord buddy talk to his crush. In the end, this mod adds new areas, voice acting, and a dozen quests. How many mods really add all that? So yes, the mod did have some issues, but it's also trying to create a pretty decently sized mod experience for a mod team of one. Just because I came across all these bugs doesn't mean everyone else did, and while I was frustrated at times with my experience, I've read plenty of comments of people saying that they really enjoyed the mod and didn't have that many issues. This was one of the mod author's first mods, and from my understanding, his first real quest mod. I would absolutely be interested in trying out the sequel, The Last Refuge, sometime soon as I think he's picked up some new skills and learned more about modding and scripting and everything along the way. But that's it for today on Skyrim Saturday. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.